Welcome to Dynamic Medicals. Today in this video, I am going to talk about the cholecystitis. What is cholecystitis? It's an acute bacterial inflammation of the gall with or without the stone. They are of two types, acute cholecystitis and the chronic cholecystitis. In acute, there is calculus and a calculus type of cholecystitis. What is the calculus type of cholecystitis? It's an obstructive cholecystitis. It causes calculi causes the bile stasis and common variety. A calculus is a non-obstructive cholecystitis. It's seen in the patient who are recovering from the major illness. What is the etiology of the cholecystitis? First is E. coli, second is streptococcus, third is salmonella typhi, clepsilla. Now let's see the pathogenesis. When the stone is present in the gallbladder, there is an outlet obstruction and which leads to the stasis of the bile and it leads to a bacterial proliferation and which leads to necrosis and perforation. Now let's see the second. It's a uh, stone which leads to mucosal erosion, which leads to destruction of cell by toxic bile salt, which leads to bacterial proliferation and which further leads to necrosis and perforation. Let's begin with the clinical features. First is a fatty fertile female is a typical victim who present with the severe upper abdominal pain, specifically in the right hypochondriac. Pain is colicky in nature and more prolonged because of the inflammation. There will be severe nausea and vomiting present. In initial phase, a low grade of fever is present except for the clostridia infection where high grade of fever is there. There will be also right shoulder pain is due to the inflammatory exudate irritating under surface of the diaphragm. But sometimes you may be surprised to find a young boy, a girl or even a child with gallstones suspect hemolytic anemias in that case. Now let's see what are the signs which we can see. First is Murphy's sign. Keep the fingers in the right hypochondrium and ask the patient to take a deep inspiration. At the height of inspiration, there is a sudden catch of the inspiration. It is due to the inflamed gallbladder coming in contact with the abdominal wall under the fingers and producing pain. This is called Murphy's sign positive. It is a diagnostic sign of acute cholecystitis. What is Boas sign? An area of hyperesthesia between the 9th and 11th rib posteriorly on the right side is a feature. Upper abdominal guarding and the rigidity, vague mass consisting of the inflamed gallbladder, omentum, inflammatory exudate can be felt at times. Hence, even if the perforation occurs, generalized peritonitis is uncommon. Now let's see what are the investigation. There is total WBC count is always raised. Blood and urine sugar, estimation to rule out the diabetes mellitus, plain x-ray abdomen in the erect position is taken, gallbladder can be demonstrated in 10% of the patient as the radio opaque shadows in the right hypochondrium. In the lateral view, the stone is seen in front of the vertebral bodies to rule out other causes such as the perforated peptic ulcer which is seen as air under the diaphragm, rarely it may show the calcified gallbladder also known as the porcelain gallbladder, 10% gallstones are radio opaque and 90% gallstones are the radiolucent. Center of stones may contain the radiolucent gas, either triradiate, that is Mercedes-Benz sign, or the biradiate seagull sign. There is emergency ultrasonography to demonstrate the stones which cast posterior acoustic shadow. Success rate is more than 95%. It can demonstrate inflamed thickened organ in cases of a calculus cholecystitis. Ultrasound can also measure gallbladder function by using the ultrasonic dimension of the gallbladder. It can detect gallbladder polyps. Now 
now we start with the treatment part first is a conservative type of treatment 60 to 70% followed by the cholecystectomy first is admission in the hospital second is aspiration with rials tube aspiration of hydrochloric acid decreases the stimulus to the secretion of bile spasm of gallbladder may come down antispasmodics injection morphine 8 to 10 mg 1 m as analgesic along with the injection atropine 0.6 mg to relieve spasm of the sphincter of odi next is antibiotics broad spectrum antibiotics are given against the gram positive and the gram negative and aerobic organisms these are some medicines and drugs which are given the patient is kept nil orally for 2-3 days and during this time IV fluid is given and after 2-3 days pain comes down and the signs that is of tenderness disappears and abdomen becomes soft Riles tube is removed at this time and clear oral fluid is given for 2-3 days followed by a soft diet and after 6 weeks the patient is advised to undergo elective cholecystectomy reason for conservative treatment is the majority of cases inflammation will settle down next is emergency cholecystectomy about the 10 percent of cases of the acute cholecystitis requires emergency cholecystectomy In these patients, high grade of fever, sepsis, shock, high leukocyte count are the deciding factors. A calculus cholecystitis and perforated gallbladder with peritonitis are the definitely strong indication for the emergency of the cholecystectomy. Now let's see about the chronic cholecystitis. Recurrent attacks of the cholecystitis will convert the gallbladder into a fibrosed, non-functioning and the contracted, shrunken small gallbladder. Gallbladder wall is grossly thickened and the stones are the intervariably present such as patient present with the classical fatty food with the intolerance and Murphy's sign is positive. They are all the diagnosed by ultrasound which reveals a small contracted gallbladder and um, otherwise the oral cholecystography that is OCG can be done to know the function of the gallbladder. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and comment on my video and subscribe to my channel Dynamic Medicos.